Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for coming in. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you like. I appreciate it so much. And the subscribers I already have, I appreciate them tremendously. Let's go to Trump. Yeah, he kind of lost his little, uh, I wouldn't say little, but his big plea to uh, other people keep the noses out of his tax business, but it didn't work. Bless his heart. Yeah, Trump loses tax return privacy. I think people's taxes should be private. They go to their tax people. Their tax people take care of their business. So, I guess they might have went to his lawyers or whoever does his taxes, maybe. But I haven't seen where the lawyers have done anything wrong as of yet. But I guess we'll see, won't we? Get this over where I can read it. Here we go. The Supreme Court decided on Tuesday that Donald Trump's tax returns may be accessible to the House Democrats. And I think that's wrong. I'm sorry. That's wrong. Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts granted a temporary stay in Trump's effort to stop the House Committee from getting their hands on his returns. The stay only holds the returns while Scottus considers the request. And that Scottus is S-C-O-T-U-S. Scotus or Scottus? Scotus. Scott us. Okay. Whatever you would like, you pronounce it your way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to say SCOTUS. But that would have a U bef after the O to the T, right? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> CODIS considers the request, which means the House Democrats don't have their hands on anything yet. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. All right. Uh, okay. On Tuesday, Roberts rejected Trump's final plea to block the release of his tax records. After the Supreme Court takes some time, there may be some disclosure to lawmakers. The temporary order reads that the application for stay presented to the court is denied and the order entered by Chief Justice is vacated. When the Treasury Department refused to turn over Trump's tax returns to House Democrats in 2019, the case began. The Treasury argued that there was no reason for the release at that time. But Chair Representative Richard Neal, Democrat of Massachusetts, pleaded with the Treasury that the Ways and Means Committee was interested in Trump's returns to determine if the President's tax law should be changed. NBC, the mainstream leftist media, reported that Trump should have made his tax returns public amid criticism of his business affairs. The media outlet continued by saying Trump only turned to the justices after an appeals court in Washington refused intervention. But the court has denied requests from Trump lately. The former president attorney said the House Ways and Means Committee's assertion does not stand up to the criticism. Attorneys further argued that the committee does not need Trump's tax information to find out how the IRS conducts the auditing process of the Pontus. P-O-T-U-S. Pontus. 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 Meanwhile, I need a dictionary. Hello. <laughs> oh, Lord. Meanwhile, the House Democrats pushed the courts to reject Trump's request. President Biden argued that the demand for tax documents reflects a valid le legislative purpose. Oh, really? The committee has a tiny window to receive and comb through Trump's tax information from the Treasury Department. The Democrat-controlled committee will turn Republican beginning January 3rd since Republicans gain the minority the House during midterms. It's improbable that the Republican-controlled House will continue with the investigation. K. 
<laughs> you know, it seems to me like Trump is like a magnet. Boy, he can draw negativity out of everybody, can he? That don't like him. <laughs> Bless his heart. But you know, if he did something wrong, like I've always said, he'll, he'll correct it. He will pay the price, in other words. He will correct it. But if he's got all these tax people going over his taxes every year, like everybody else, is there a criminal in those investigations that might want to screw him up like everybody else does? Well, if they find fault, they better look deep, deep, deep into it. But if Trump did something he shouldn't have done, but how could he get these in tax people to do what he wants? They would jeopardize their jobs, their livelihood, and maybe get prison term. Now, who's going to take that chance? I'm messing up a president's tax audits or reforms or whatever. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? <clears throat> I'll keep track of this one. I better write it down so I don't forget it. <laughs> Who can forget Trump? He's going down history no matter what. He'll be around for, oh, ever and ever and ever. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's go find something else here. That was a shorty. Yeah. And I better move it so I don't replay it because my thing here is plumb full again. Uh, this Trudeau, Governor Trudeau, I found an article about him now. Um, he's... Consider it, considered deploying tanks, tanks against Freedom Convoy, T-A-N-K-S, tanks against Freedom Convoy. I don't quite understand this one. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a smarty. I just, I just waver through things, you know, I just kind of float through them, whatever. <laughs> Startling new trove, T-R-O-V-E, trove. Documents revealed Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau government considered using tanks against peaceful protesters who were part of this year's Freedom Convoy protest. What are they going to do? Mow them down? Tanks like that killer did at that Christmas parade? Oh, please. Participants sought to end the nation's Dracronian Dracronian COVID-19 vaccine mandates and peacefully carry out demonstrations in several locations. In response, Trudeau enacted the nation's emergency act, which is similar to martial law. <clears throat> On February 2nd, the Public Order Emergency Commission looked at taking the government's countermeasures against protesters to an entirely new level. Now, February 2nd, that'd be last year. Oh, well, I get behind. We all know that. Public Safety Minister Marco Medicino messaged Justice Minister David Lamenti with, How many tanks are you asking for? He added that he wanted to inquire with the Defense Minister as to how many were on hand. Lametti answered with, I reckon one will do. <laughs> really? The exchange further included a reference to the Ottawa Police Service Chief as incompetent for not dispersing crowds from the Parliament Hill area. A third government official chimed in that a provincial premier's worries about the federal response was bonkers. Trudeau's unpre unprecedented use of the Emergencies Act on February 14th, unprecedented use of the Emergencies Act on February 14th triggered the current inquiry into federal actions. The result is a revealing look at messages between cabinet members that most likely believe would remain private. 
Now thousands of pages of documents are seeing the light of day. Well, I don't doubt that now. Among Trudeau's actions were freezing bank accounts of demonstrators, prohibiting travel to protest locations, ordering tow trucks to remove vehicles blocking Ottawa roadways. Under questioning by a commission lawyer, Lamenti declared that he was only being prudent by raising martial law measures early in the emergency. He said such actions had to be considered whether or not it was going to be an option. On Wednesday, the cabinet member claimed that the reference to using tanks was meant to be a joke between two friends. Oh, really? Well, they're blaming Trump for the January 6th riot on the White House. Yeah, that wasn't a joke. And Trump had nothing to do with it. It meant to be a joke. Hmm. Somebody calls me up and asks how many tanks I've got. I'm going to get concerned, aren't you? Joke or no joke, you don't joke about stuff like that. He said he would word his statement differently now and that it was the result of the heat of the moment. So he was mad. He was upset. The protest, which began in late January, carried on until February 19th forced some government officials out of their Ottawa homes, including Lamenti. He also conceded that his words carried the authority of his office and could be perceived negatively by the Canadian public. Well, no kidding. Holy catfish. See? Words out of your mouth. Mm, 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 mm. My, oh my. Mm. Okay, I'm going on. I'll be right back.